Jesus. My Savior, no, there is none like you. Oh, love my days. I want to praise the wonders of your mind. You're my to love. Come on, Pastor John, say. My comfort. Hallelujah. My shelter. That's right. Tower of refuge is message that it's a mystery of the virgin birth. 
Okay. And you know, we have been talking about the name Jesus. You know, the same line. The mystery, that's not the title. But what I'm trying to say is the message will bring to you the mystery of the virgin birth. The mystery. Mystery. A mystery is a hidden truth. Something that is already there but covered. Sealed. Okay. And so Jesus used this many times in his parables. So he's trying to say that there is something there but it's been covered. So it takes revelation to be able to discover those things. All over the world, people today are talking about Jesus Christ, especially Christ, because they say Christmas, so Christ, Christ. Okay. So I want to unveil within a few minutes the mystery of the virgin birth. Okay? So I want to talk about God in Christ, Christ in me. Say God in Christ, Christ in you. That's the message. You see, the way you didn't even put your hand for the word. Now, what is the subject? What is the title? Uh huh. One, two. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Say God in Christ, Christ in me. Now, I want you to just lend me your ears. Let me get your attention for the few minutes. Okay? <laughs> because this Christmas that people are celebrating today, okay? Every day should be a Christmas to the believer. No, say amen to that. And so, if you are a Christian, you wait until 25th. Then you start behaving and acting as a Christian. It doesn't work that way. To we that are born of the Spirit, every day is Xmas for us. Your amen is too small. Amen. Tell somebody every day is Xmas. For you. Are you here? This is very important. Now, in Matthew chapter 16, give it to me. Let me take it from that point and then see. I didn't intend to take it from that point, but let me take it from Matthew chapter 16. Let's start from 13. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, mm -hmm, saying, uh -huh, Whom do men say that what? The Son of Man am. And they said, Some say that thou art John what? The Baptist. Uh -huh. Some Elias. And others what? Jeremiah, or one of the prophets, let's go, to 20. He said unto them, but whom say ye that I am understand that he first went to the multitude for them to identify who he is, and they, they couldn't. Now he turned to the apostles, okay, the disciples, and he said unto them, but whom say ye I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art what? Christ, the son of what? The living God. I want you to underline the word Christ Christo and the son. Okay, they are the same. Christ, son, Christo the same. Okay, so the, the revelation he received from God, the Holy Spirit spoke to him. He said, you are Christ, the son of the living God. For that matter, you are the son, the Christ, the Christ, the son. Okay, now let's go. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are thou, Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood has not what? Reveal it unto thee, but my what? Father, which is where? Now, so, 
we get it straight that physically the people couldn't identify who the son of God or Jesus was he said my father revealed me the spirit so it means that the name Christ is a mystery 